Hey everyone, my name is Royce and I'm a second year MD PhD student at UPenn. So this is the second video in my series, Clerkships for Real, and I have some sad news. This is actually the last week of urology for me. It was only two weeks and, uh, you know, it was, it was a good two weeks. It was great to see the team, to experience the culture, to see the, the funny and inappropriate jokes they make. It was a really good introduction to clerkships for me as a medical student. Um, and next week I start colorectal surgery, which will be hopefully fun. We'll see. I'm guessing the people will be at least a little more serious. I mean, they can't make penis jokes and get away with it. I have here some delicious uh, chrysanthemum and goji berry tea. Hope you can grab your favorite drink, whether that be tea or coffee, and uh, enjoy it with me while we chat for a little bit. So the topic I want to talk about today is how surgery is like video games. All throughout middle school and high school, I play computer games, PS3 games. I know video games get a bad rep. Rest assured, I only play video games that were good for my cognitive development, like Call of Duty and Battlefield. And throughout undergrad, I kind of mellowed out, first by selling my PlayStation, because I needed quick cash. And also, I transitioned to the Nintendo Switch. So in urology these last two weeks, I've been able to experience some very unique and innovative surgeries. I mean, where do I even start? I guess I'll start with my very first surgery. It was a robotic laparoscopic prostatectomy. Laparoscopic means you use little arms and prostatectomy means removal of a prostate. I remember getting it set up for the first time. I was just in absolute awe seeing the whole Da Vinci surgical robot machine and just how complicated it looked. And so it reminded me of that one scene in Spider-Man 2, you know, the original one, where Doc Ock is on the operating table and has the, the octopus arms sticking into his spine and the arms start moving and stuff. That's exactly what was happening in the surgery. The arms were like moving around as they were sticking into the abdominal cavity. There were little claws that were being manipulated by the surgeon uh, who was like in the hood away from the operating table. I was just watching the hands go to work, you know, burning stuff, cutting stuff, sewing up stuff with robotic hands. And I was like, wow, this is like one of those video games where you have to like manipulate these hands, but it's like kind of awkward controls. I'm thinking of only the hyper-realistic video games like Surgeon Simulator. And I just thought, wow, how cool is this? I almost forgot the patient was there. And I was really happy because that means my transition to being a cold, detached doctor is working. And I had a really profound moment while setting up the robot, actually. I remember, uh, so you know, you blow up the abdominal cavity and you stick a camera in. And so we were looking at the monitor screen of the camera display. And once the robot arms were all in place, they pulled out the camera from the abdomen and the screen display was black. In the reflection, I didn't even recognize myself. So I had a laparoscopic appendectomy in my past in high school. That's talked about in my medical school personal statement actually, which is super confidential and not widely available on the internet. I saw, you know, this person who was dressed up in the full surgical gear, you know, and I remember thinking to myself, wow, I've really come a long way. Like just eight years ago, I was a naive high schooler and now here I am you know, this faceless surgeon. So some other procedures I saw, a really cool one was a bladder biopsy. So they take what's called a cystoscope, this long metal rod into the urethra and on the monitor display, you basically have what looks like, I mean, it reminds me of that video game Subnautica, this underwater submarine diver dude. And it's got the whole like submarine HUD heads up display. And you see like all the bubbles whirring by and like the particles and like you have, you have like a light that like, you're like spelunking almost in the caverns of the human body. For this particular procedure, they had this electrocautery tool and it would just slice through the bladder wall like it was cotton candy. Like that's exactly the consistency, like cotton candy or fiberglass that was just being cut off of the bladder wall. That was pretty wild. I saw a kidney stone removal that was in the ureter going through like a cavern. You, you can't really see that far ahead of you. And uh, eventually they approached this big yellow like boulder thing. And I realized that was the kidney stone right there. And so this kidney stone was way too big to uh, grab on its own. So they had to break it up using a high power laser. And there was like a laser dot for where the device was aiming. And that reminded me of the video games that I played in the past that were completely you know, pacifist and nonviolent. Uh, where you could have attachable laser sights to see like, you know, you're trying to aim this laser pointer onto the stone. And then once the laser dot was on the stone, I hear the attending say, take the shot. And I was like, what? And all of a sudden the laser machine in the corner makes this rapid fire sound like do, 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 do. And then you see the, the laser pulses and the rock just getting completely obliterated. Let me get a little sip here actually. So yeah, all these procedures were really cool, um, but you know, I also had to remind myself that we are indeed operating on a patient, that urologists aren't getting paid buttloads of money just to play video games. They're playing video games on patients. I'm totally kidding, all jokes aside. I have to remind myself 
that these are indeed patients we'll be operating on. These are human beings who have to deal with you know, the diseases they have, like cancer, and they have to deal with the burden of chemotherapy and radiotherapy. And uh, yeah, overall, it has been quite a unique experience. Um, I'm glad I'm spending the time to reflect on it at least a little bit, and I definitely have more reflection to do in the future. So that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed chatting with me, and have a great Sunday.